Uh, it is also into the like to share the limit of tangent square x over x as x approaches 0. When we substitute 0 to the tangent function, we have 0, which means that the numerator we obtain 0 square, and the denominator is also 0, which is 0 over 0, and this is in determinate form, which means that we can apply the Lopita's rule which means that we can differentiate the numerator with respect to x and also differentiate the denominator with respect to x. And hence, we will obtain, when we differentiate tangent square, we bring down the power, which is 2 tangent x, and when we differentiate tangent, it's supposed to be secant square x. And we differentiate x, we obtain 1, which means that this is equal to limit x approaches 0, 2 is the constant we can take out, tangent x secant square x. And according to the properties of limit, we can split the limit as a product. So we have limit x approaches 0, tangent x times the limit of x approaches 0, secant is equivalent to 1 over cos. So which means that we have 1 over cos squared x. So we have 2 times when we substitute tangent 0 and we obtain 0. So this is when we have 0, so cos 0 is 1, which means that we have 1 over 1 squared. And we simplify, we should obtain 0, and hence we already obtain the limit. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.